that's all you did. And you're like, well, that's my beat. I'm going to bring this back to the one and I might duplicate this. All right. So now I have a, a lot of like basic, basic hip hop usually starts with like these eight bar loops. And then they're like, you know, you have this bar is, you know, like 12 bar verse and a 16, you know, an eight bar chorus or 16 bar chorus or a, things like that. So now I have this. But let's say I'm going to pull that weight back down to like about 102. Let's see what it sounds like at 102. All right. So now let's just find some random per percussion here. Like. All right, so now I'm just gonna throw some percussion that makes every measure sound a little different, so. I'm going to da 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 Okay, um, and a CPU <laughs> error happened, but that is kind of it. That gets you started. It gets so much more advanced than that, but that gets you started and another thing and then how do you do it to a song that you already know right that's the question you got these chords what do you do so let's just see if i have enough time for that um let's start with i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to get thing see if i remember what you did we'll call this the keys let me just try to pull up some keys that you did um where are my keys sorry god i hope i don't run out of time Kuzi piano very basic, all right? I think it was, oops, all right. It was, uh, is that a D minor, E minor, F? Okay, so I'm gonna hit the tempo. The way I do that is I highlight that and hit the letter T, so it's like one, two, three, four, like dun, dun, dun. Where I said I go, it's a, it's a great little thing, right? So let's take that. And let's start over. First of all, the first thing I'm going to do is count that in. All right, so we'll go record. One, two. Right? And your melody was like, dun. it was like, it was like, dun, 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 dun. Something like that, right? So let's come back and let's, how do you put a beat to this song? So there's so many beats. Let's change the sound of some of this stuff also from a rock beat to something else because I feel like you're not going to want a rock beat on that. Drums, I don't even know. Urban beat. How about New House? I know this is not what you want. I'm old school. Um, where is that? Right there. Yep, because I got a clap on it. So I'm just going to use this drum pad. I have no idea what it's on because I need something a little more on the dance thing. So here's my clap. So let's just say we're going to use a clap and a snare at the same time, okay? So we know we're going to put that in. So Right, so what I put up on my two and four, I'm going to double that just so you know, because it's something that happens. Okay, we're on the two and four, right? So, um, now we need to play with this kick, because it's all gonna be about this kick, right? So see how much that song could take on a different thing, or it could be like, on the floor, right? So what do we want that to sound like that? I mean, that's more like a... So let's, I don't know. I think it's a jingle, of course. We're talking about a jingle, but let's just say we're doing something else. Let's speed it up. See what that makes you feel like. It is kind of hard. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be like, you know. So 
let's try that. We're just gonna do that. It's like, oh, it's just how they did old dance stuff. Just for now, okay? It'll be easy to do. Three, four, that's one. Three, four, one, two, three, four. See how I did that? Three, four, one, two, three, four. So I think it's a house beat, by the way, just so you know. And then what happens is the hi-hat always goes one and two and three and four and, okay? So now you're gonna go one and two and three and four and. And that's how you're gonna make that. Okay, you ready? And go. Oh, that didn't work out. Well, I went up to 520, so let's go back to 125. All right, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Okay, old timey house beat, right? And then you're like, okay, see how that's developing? And if you wanted it, because I said it's it's less of a jingle and more of a house thing, so let's find a. Really nothing. That's something they used to use all the time. Don't ever do that, because this is like really old styles. Okay? Like this is like what they did in the 80s into the 90s. So just so you know. So like And of course, you can go through and play with that, right? So, is that is that making sense? Now, I'm gonna go down an octave, and I'm gonna, and then you would add some kind of bass line on top of that, not with a piano. I'm just making this stuff in. I know it's really old school, but I'm trying to go fast. So let's say this was two, one, two, one, two. Now, but all the parts, of, the important part of this particular part of the lesson is when you orchestrate, the parts need to fit together, but you don't want them the same. Each one is supposed to make space for the other ones. Does that make sense? Okay. As an example, okay. Two, three, four. We'll come back again, ready? When it comes back around, I'll play it, all right? We'll go. Okay, now let's have some fun with that and go into that particular bass line. And then what you can do is you come over here and you start messing with this stuff. You go, well, I don't want a piano. I actually want like some kind of bass. So you can just go, uh, where's my bases? Hard leads? Even a hard lead might work. Yeah, like, oh. Oh, okay, what about that? Okay. okay. Let's take that for the fun of it. All right, and let's take this piano and let's change that up. It's where I was saying you can orchestrate this stuff different. What if this was an organ? Hmm. What if it was an action pad? Okay, polysynth. See? Okay. That is the basics on how to like do that. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it and hopefully you